This is Katie Bunchoten, the CEO and founder of Certum Solutions here in North Carolina. As an advanced certified QuickBooks Pro advisor, I'm doing some of these videos and kind of tiptoeing my way into YouTube to help some of my clients and viewers figure out how to do things in QuickBooks easier. Today, we're going to focus on automated invoice reminders. OK, with QuickBooks Online, you do have the ability to send out automated QuickBooks invoice reminders, but it acts. It operates differently depending on whether you have QuickBooks Online Advanced or QuickBooks Online Plus. OK, if you're viewing the screen right now, you can see my QuickBooks Online Advanced demo environment with QuickBooks Online Advanced. You would think that if you go to preferences, account and settings, and go to sales, it looks like you can send out your reminders, okay? But this is a little bit um, of, a, of a mistake. You can't actually send the reminders from here. You can set up the messaging, okay? The neat thing is, is that this feature used to not be available in QuickBooks Online. Again, uh, QuickBooks Online is improving things all the time and they roll out these new features to you live, you know, on a very accelerated times uh, schedule, more so than they do with desktop, okay? Both products get updates through the year, but uh, with desktop, a lot of the new stuff gets saved for the new version, whereas with QuickBooks Online, you don't have versions. So these are rolled out, you know, on probably, I believe it's every quarter, but it could be even faster than that. I'm not sure. Anywho, so coming back to our video, here we are. We have we can see where our email message is here. You can see you don't have any spot to put in your reminder email. So I'm just going to X out of here and I'm going to show you where we will go. You want to go over to your workflows area, OK? This is a very new feature that's come to QuickBooks Online Advanced and it's only in QuickBooks Online Advanced to my knowledge. And you can tell I actually just did another one of these videos. Uh, practice makes perfect, right? But we're going to do this differently today. So let me go ahead and I'm going to delete these workflows because I don't want to clutter my screen. OK, and a workflow in QuickBooks Online Advanced is just a trigger and an action. So it's a if this happens, then this happens, similar to what you get with Zapier. If you don't know what Zapier is, it's, it's an integration service. It's an integration platform where it's kind of easier to use than having somebody hard code stuff, right? So let's go ahead and click on our templates because we need to see what we want to set up today. I want to do payment due reminders. So I'm going to hit create here and I'm going to make this payment due reminder number one because I'm going to set up several payment due reminders as a part of this video or you could. I'm going to keep it short so I'm not going to do too many, but you could. You can set up as many as you want. So I want to do payment due reminder one and it says whichever customers within all customers and the amount is more than zero because we don't want to remind people if they don't owe any money, right? Uh, then send them an email how many days after your due date. Now this is something else you got to consider. If your date is due date is due upon receipt, um, you need to consider that. For me, um, if it's like net 14 or something, or even like we apply late charges every 30 days. So in an effort to save our customers money, I'll actually send one before their due date so that you know, they have that opportunity to go, oh shoot, I forgot about that invoice. Let me go ahead and take care of it before I get any late fees, okay? So I'm going to do my first one as five days before my due date, okay? And I'm going to send a copy to myself, okay? It's gonna say send email and send mobile notification. And then I'm going to leave this information here for the purpose of this video. And you can also add other variables. A variable is like right here, you say Cubo customer names. These are tags. You can insert any of these tags to personalize your email. Um, and then that's it. That's it for the first one. I'm going to hit save. I'm not going to hit save and enable because I don't want a bunch of random emails from my demo company. But if you would be, if you were ready to run with that, then you can go ahead and hit save and enable. Now I'm going to create a second workflow and it's going to be the same type of workflow because I want to say, hey, 
if they saw my reminder and it's not quite the due date, but then they still didn't respond or pay their bill, then I want to go ahead and do another reminder, right? So I'm going to say day of due date, send email day of due date. Hey guys, you know, your, your invoice is overdue, okay? And I'm going to, up, I could update this to be its own custom message if I want. So instead of it's coming up due, maybe we put it's due today. Please know you're going to get your late charges applied, so on and so forth, okay? And I completely forgot to add my number two, but I want to add a number two because I'm just kind of particular that way. And I'm going to hit save again. Now you could set up more of these, okay? You could set up three, four, five, however many you want. I don't recommend setting up like a million of them because you're going to, you know, at some point, you know, we need to go ahead and call this person and see what's going on because there's probably, you know, something wrong with the email or, or for whatever reason, it's not been paid yet. Anywho, that's the conclusion of my workflow video on invoice reminders. I'm also uploading one on how to do it in plus and all that information and all my notes for this video will be in the description on YouTube. Again, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to be reminded when I get new videos up. Thank you so much for watching and speak to you soon.